All right, 21180 is our next team, Air 418, coming up here. Welcome, everybody. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves and uh, what you've designed here so far. How are you tackling the center stage challenge here at Robot in 30 Hours? Uh, we are team 21180, Air 418. This is our second year as an FTC team. Uh, currently, during the Robot in 30 Hours, we have gotten mainly just, uh, we've gotten a chassis done, and we have gotten a, a two-bar arm with a working claw onto it. We have also 3D printed some new claw parts that will be better at picking up the pixels so that we have better grip and we won't drop them. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. And as of right now, we don't have our robot moving, but we do have our claw working. So you want to put a pixel? Sorry. You want to put a pixel? Yeah. And yeah. then we can just clamp it. You want to lift it up? And then we just lift it up, and then we just drop it right next to it. Uh, backstage, and that's pretty much how we're going to score for now. That's pretty much how we're going to score for now. Uh, I believe we are go uh, we are going to be working on the paper airplane thrower next because it's probably a, one of the best ways to score points as of right now. Uh, we have also solidified our game strategy on what we are going to be doing and how we are going to be scoring, and what our plan would probably be during the entire competition. We're also we also have CAD designs currently for a very simple prop, just so that we can get those uh extra uh twenty ish points from the autonomous period. You say you guys are doing right now. What are you using for CAD? Uh, we use Fusion three hundred and sixty. Which is can you pick up multiple at a time? Are you considering a separate intake? Uh, as of right, there. Theoretically, we could, but oh my god, and um, but we haven't really tested that out yet. I believe right now we cannot, but currently the next three D printed claw that we are going to be producing will be larger so that it can actually pick up two, and that will be much more effective on our runs across the field to pick up pixels. Let's talk about three D printing a little bit. So, uh, you know, your team doing that during robot thirty hours when you only have thirty hours, are you able to three D print and prototype? quick enough to use on your robot? Uh, it's difficult, but we would usually use some rather simple prototypes to be able to get through quickly. Uh, we also try to keep infill low so that we can actually print out the items as fast as we can. I have a question from State Line Homeschool Robotics, which is how do you plan to reach higher up on the backdrop? So as of right now, this is not what we're gonna have. We're gonna mount this over to the middle one and then we're going to make this a bit shorter so then it'll fit inside the 18 inch barrier and then when we reach up it should be able to hit, uh, get the higher backstage another question from helen saunders which is what is your plan for backstage door slash height restrictions uh i believe we're just going to stay under 14 inches the best we can so that we can just have easy access through the sides so you're not looking at using the door necessarily then right Yes, we are not looking towards using the door. One more question from Double Pain. Do you think that claw may be also used during endgame to hang on the rigging? Well, I think that this claw might not be the best for that. And it might not be stable enough to actually hold on to the rigging. But So I, we're thinking of just parking as of right now instead of uh, hanging on the rigging. Question from Helen Saunders, which is, what was your thought process on the non-linear slide arm? I, th I think we just did the two-bar arm because it's going to be faster for us to actually get it running. The linear slide right now, we aren't very like experienced using linear slides and, and active intakes as it's our second year. So we're planning on using that during the season, but as of right now, we, we don't have that running. Uh, so, looking at, at this challenge in here, when you're looking at approaching it from a 30 hours, what made you want to go with this overall design? Like some of the other designs we've seen out there, why was this the right one for your team to go with? 
it was rather simple compared to some of the other possible designs and it fit with what we had done in previous seasons so it was simpler for us to actually run with this build awesome well uh, air 418 thank you so much for uh telling us more about our team wish you best of luck anything else you want to add before we let you go and get back to work yeah so also we plan on putting a camera somewhere over here so we can our, basically our plan is to tell which tape the uh our prop is on and from the camera so it's uh object detection we can tell which we're working on that we're tell we're sorry we're, we're working on the robot's ability to tell which tape the object is standing on and, and so we can use that to place to drive the robot over and place the purple pixel in the autonomous period awesome well air uh, 418 thanks again for telling us more about your team you're all good luck the rest of the way let's give them a big round of applause everybody job well done here so far This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.